what's up guys today's video i'm going to do an oil change on my 1991 honda civic this is the oil that i've been using on my 91 civic for the last three years and it's done its job right and it does not burn oil everything is solid so i use the um i use four quarts so i have four of these here and um this is Malvo valvoline Pro proven to maximize engine life you got that right synthetic blend high mileage for vehicles with 75,000 miles or more my car has 170 so it's way beyond that See until I'm outside, but this is the 5W30. I usually put 5W30 when the winter is coming and uh, it's almost here where we're in the near edge, so might as well. I got two. changing your vehicles by yourselves you have to have a manual of what your car like is about don't ever get the whole like the big you know gallon of of, of the oil you want to switch and your car only takes a specific amount of oil you know like if you, my, my car only takes four quarts that's why i have four this is each each little um container contains one quart so I have four of them. I also read if you put more oil into your car than what it needs, you can damage the car too, the engine. So like it's very important to know how many gallons, you, uh, you know, how many quarts um, your car or your specific vehicle um, needs. Don't over exceed because, you know, things can happen, bad things. And this is the uh, filter, oil filter that I'm going to change. I Sorry about that. I couldn't find the I couldn't find the one that I wanted that I usually use on my car. But you know, it's it's whatever. I I I just I I saw the reviews on this one K and N, and they're pretty good. And um, I know it says twenty thousand mile protection. I mean, I don't change my mile. I don't change my oil every twenty thousand miles. I change it every three thousand. But this. Um, you can leave your 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 oil filter for twenty thousand. Like you can do uh, three, six, nine. You can do like five oil changes and and then take this off when you want to switch. Personally, me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I switch the oil filter. Also, when I do an oil change, I don't I don't care if it has twenty thousand miles. I change it because that's just I feel better in in like mentally. But for me, I change the oil filter as well with the oil um and everything you know but 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 everybody has their uh their own um, their own way of doing things so but this is just what i do Take it 
Okay guys, this is me, obviously. I'm gonna open up the hood. Pretty much. And then take the cap off from the where, where you put the oil in, of course. And bring your jack stands, of course. I mean your jack. I was I took it to the wrong side, it's supposed to be in the front. So uh, put it in well. I mean, my car is kind of different from every other average car because my car is really low, so I have to put it very in a certain spot to lift it up. So that's what I did lift it up a good amount. Some people usually put the jack stands under and then take off the, the, um, the jack, but I just leave it there just for the hell of it, just to be safe, to be more safe. Um, put it on, put your uh, jack stand on, on the passenger seat and I put the one on the driver's seat and then I brought the little bed and my tools the bed I barely even use because it's so high off the ground I can't fit on the car because the car is so damn low like you guys know this is a 17 millimeter wrench that's gonna have to take the bolt out of the oil pan and that's, that's the black uh, container that I, I'm gonna put the old oil in when it drips down you guys will see under the car, take that little uh, container down there, oil container, take your wrench, find the bolt on the uh, oil pan, I, I found it right there, and then you go up there and it's a little tight, so make sure you get a good, uh, good angle and take it out. Once you do it, you can easily take it out with, with your finger. I mean, obviously for me, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that easy. I had to do it with the wrench more and more until it finally released. But eventually I did get it to release. I took it out with my finger and then there, with my hand and there you go. The oil, the old oil is dripping down. Well, not dripping, but going down. And then you wait until it's for sure empty. And then don't forget, to, you have to take the oil filter out. It's also above. Well, for my car, it's above um, the oil pan, like behind, uh, in front of it. I can't really explain, but you guys will see. Again, these procedures are easy. I don't know if a lot, a lot of people, I know that a lot of people don't know how to change their oil, but it's not even hard. It's very easy, very simple. I mean, you might get dirty. But that's like that's pretty much it. Nothing else is out of the ordinary. It's not nothing, nothing like rocket science that you have to take it to a mechanic to do. But a lot of people just rather just take it to their mechanic, I guess. They don't want to get dirty or they don't want to um, work on their car. But I don't care. I do it all the time. So put, put the uh, container on, on to the side, and I I went in there to try to take off the, the oil filter. I don't know if you guys can see, it's right there, let me see. Right there on the top left corner, right there. I'm, I'm yanking it right now, I'm twisting it out. Or at least I'm trying to. Um, I, I have to release it so, I mean I have to, I have to loosen it up a little bit so all the old oil you see right there. Because every time you take out the oil filter, there's still um, oil behind it, so it's gonna it's gonna continue to drip down from that angle, from that area. So just let it drip, 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 let it drip. And then once it's done, just go out, go in there and remove it with your hand. There it goes. That's the old filter. That the one I want, the one I use is AC Delco. But I mean, it's a good brand, but you know, I couldn't find it where I went, so I just took, I took the can and a filter, but you know, either one is fine, at least for my car, for my car, for my car. There it is, the, the new one and the old one, and that's what I meant, you gotta get some of the oil lubrication and put it on, t on top of the uh, sealer, or, or just rub it like that, I mean, that's what I do always, that's what my dad told me to do. So once that's it, you go out there and make sure
chair's not dripping anymore. And then you twist it, hand twist it. Don't don't use no special wrench, special tool to tighten it up. There's no reason to tighten it up. So so tight, just do it with your hand. And then that's the oil pan bolt. I gotta put it back in there because the old oil is gone. It's done. It's done. So put it back in there. 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 And make sure you get your 17 millimeter red wrench and, and tighten it up. Again, this is just for my Honda Civic 91. I don't know how other cars work. I'm more familiar of Hondas. I mean, I've had 97, 95, 2013. Those are the ones that I'm like, pretty much familiar with. But like, as far as like Chevrolet, like Ford, uh, um, Chevrolet, obviously uh, Dodge. I don't know none of that. So, so there you go, guys. It's, it's. I mean, I wipe it down, clean it up from the old um, oil, and make sure it doesn't drip. Okay. I mean, it's, there's no new oil in there yet, but you'll see. You know. Okay. And my fingers are, or my hands, dirty. Okay, guys. In this, um, in this part of the video, I pretty much I put everything away. I put the old filter and the new in the box, and usually I just I throw them away at the end of the, uh, at the end of the month. You know, it's October 29th. Um, I will probably take it, take it out. You know, later today. But I just want to do this, the video for today. Um, that, that's the first. That's the uh, first quart of oil, brand new oil, into my car. Put it in there. Put it in there well. And obviously, I can't do it all fast and quick. I have to like wait because you know, the car doesn't swallow that fast. Not like my ex-girlfriend, but it is what it is, it is what it is, it is what it is. So, pretty much in this um, part of the video, I'm just waiting until, you know, that's the one. And then this is the second one, second chord. And again, my car only takes four chords, it says in a manual. Like, other cars probably take more chords, I'm not sure. But remember to always reference your car's manual or vehicle's manual you know as, as i'm doing this video there's there's somebody somebody commented on my on my other uh video of my firearms and he said why are you whispering smh i'm like bro are you like a dumbass this is ASMR. I have to whisper. Oh my God! I'm, I'm I swear, there's people getting stupid and stupid every day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the third chord. 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 It's like 67 degrees and normally at this time you usually get like 40 degree weather but it's 67 and I can't be happier right now I want to go for a run like a quick two mile run after this video is uploaded so I might just I might just do it okay that's the third chord and last and final one the fourth chord Make sure that car gotta be healthy. So I changed the car at 170,000 miles, and the next is due on every well after 3,000 miles. But um, every time, like I don't know if you guys noticed, but every time the car's engine is uh, or the car's oils changed, it feels more fresh. And when you start it up, it starts more healthier. You can you can feel it. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know that's just how that's what I see or what I felt before in my other previous vehicles. Okay, almost done pouring everything down. And remember, guys, 
when everything is in like the oil, the new oils in make sure you put the cap on and one, once everything is done before you do every, anything else make sure you go double check go down there and look if there's any leaks this is my Arizona uh, gallon that I had I, this, I usually I, I save those so I can put my old oil in there and then when I have also a whole big uh, like a lot of stacks of those I just take it to AutoZone or my near uh, auto parts store so I can like um, just put everything take take all the oils to them I think their limit is like seven gallons but I don't even have seven gallons probably less and that's pretty much what I'm doing putting the old oil into that gallon and it's not even a gallon it's way less you guys will see you got fruity, you got fruity, you got I don't know if you guys like, I don't know if you guys do exercise or anything like that, like right, like run or whatever, jog, hike, but do you guys like running in in the in the dark i mean i do but sometimes i get scared because some guy might be behind me and stab me in the back or whatever and kill me and i'm dead and then damn my life sucks I'm, it's over you know i have to come back and be born something else what if i'm born like an ant and i die like on, on the third day it sucks <sighs> okay guys that's pretty much it take out the that little um, plastic yellow I don't even know what the hell it's called but take that thing out <laughs> I mean I do remember I don't remember I, I someone told me the name of it, but I forgot what it's called <laughs> okay like I said double check if there's any leaks once the, the new oil is in there I didn't see any leaks so everything is A1 correct and now pretty much take everything back I took the, the gallon of the old oil and get that little thing make sure i wipe it down and clean it because it, you don't want it dirty from the old oil because the old oil has particles so make sure you wipe it down clean it up because that's what you're going to use the next time you put new oil in unless you buy a new one but i'm not this is the one i use so yeah. so yeah and i'm taking everything back I'm, um right here i took that thing that i barely even use because i don't even know why i bring it out and um taking the old quart containers of the new oil just just in case if I ever need a new container to put old oil that's my old filter oil filter put it back in there just for references again I'm gonna throw this away um, and then clean everything down all the all the uh, paper towels and then uh, make sure you get the jack stands out of there you don't want to drive those under there god forbid you know down okay and then get them both and put it back up there or well, just put them back where you found them that's what that's what my mom always tells me and um slowly drop it especially if it's lowered okay there it is slowly but surely surely what if my name was Shirley? Hey Shirley, what's up? Okay, now yeah, there you go. Take it out, guys. Take it out, take it out, take it out. And then wipe my ranch because it's, it's full. It was full of oil, so I just wipe it down. Clean it up. Got my jack stands. Put them back and take those little things from the rear tires. much it guys it wasn't you know too difficult i think it was easy fairly easy i think anybody can do it um i mean again like this is just these are just videos that reference hondas but like old hondas i don't know what exactly what everybody else drives but i may be missing a thing or two with other models but or other american models but it's part of this one 
this one's easy, easy, fast, and you, you'll be done like probably 20 minutes or less. and uh, subscribe.